Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have one of the icons of rock and roll here from the Sex Pistols, Steve Jones. And uh, came in the story. He's starting a new career on banjo. He, just, he thinks that that's going to be the latest thing. So uh, we're hoping to launch that right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Steve, say a few words. Hello. Hello, Norm. Hello, Steve. I don't know about this. You don't think that's going to work? How about accordion? Would accordion do? Uh, mm -hmm. the new, uh... mm -hmm. This is all right, though. It's got the uh, the punk thing here. we got a lion's head yeah, over here. Yeah, it's got stuff. the punk thing there. It's all good. All right. Ah. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. I don't want to tire you out with all no, this it's, hard work. It's so heavy. I didn't realize it's so heavy. What is, why is that one heavy? Well, it's banjos, a actually, the good banjos should be really heavy. I mean, you know, they because of the alloys that they use in them, the later ones are not as heavy. And this has got a closed back, so this is sort of like, you know, a lot of the ragtime guys and all that use that with the... George Formby. George Formby. George Formby. He had, no, he had a short one in George Formby. He had that little one. It's more like that one. Yeah, they make uh, no, no, a short one. This, this is actually a plectrum, which is 22 frets, and then the uh, tenors are 19 frets, so they're a little bit yeah. shorter. And the ones without the backs are obviously lighter, but for this yeah. style of music, yeah. you want the mass. And all that. So this was made in the 30s. Uh, I mean, most of the people now are using the five strings. So, uh, you know, for the bluegrass and country, this is more like a ragtime, you know, old timey thing with the four string. But anyhow, thank you, Steve. I appreciate right. you uh, doing Enjoy that. Enjoy it. Enjoy that. Okay.